guys welcome to another studio vlog how are you doing it's monday today it's the first day of my seven day drills challenge and i've already seen so many people sharing the first day of drills which is super exciting i had a bit of time off last week so I didn't do a studio vlog last week, you may have seen. I still did a video. So I did an Etsy and small business Q&A video, which if you haven't seen already, I highly recommend because I chat all things small business and Etsy and hopefully it's helpful. But I just needed some time away from the camera last week. And I think in general, I just needed to slow down a bit. I was starting to feel a bit burnt out and I just needed to chill. So I did do work last week, obviously I had my full time job and I've been preparing for the drills challenge, but it felt good to not have too much pressure. So I feel like I'm really tiny in this. Let me zoom you in a bit. It was just really good. I had a couple of lazy evenings. I think it's just what I needed and I'm feeling more refreshed today it's March today how how is it March that's crazy it's my birthday month so very excited about that looking forward to a week where I will be staying in for the whole week because we can't go anywhere but I am actually looking forward to having some proper time off and we are also moving flat, so I'm moving into a new studio, which is very exciting. There's a lot of cool things going on this month. I'm also taking part in March Meet the Maker. Let me say that again. March Meet the Maker by Joanne Hawker. Never done it before. I think I did it like one year just in my stories, but didn't really continue it for the whole month. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. And... I'm just feeling positive. I think it helps that the sun is shining. It is beautiful weather outside. We went for an amazing walk yesterday, which you would have seen at the beginning of this video. I went for a lovely run on my lunch break. It's just so nice and it's just put me in such a good mood. So this week, what am I doing? Firstly, before we dive into this week, I did film some footage from last week. So I got a super exciting package in the post from Coco Natasha and it was too exciting not to film and share with you guys. So we're gonna cut away to that now and you can see what I got. So I wasn't gonna vlog this week and I think I'll probably pop this into next week's studio vlog. But I just got a really exciting pretty pink package in the post. I saw a couple of people get theirs last week and now I've got mine. So this is a package from Coco Natasha. It's basically her Kickstarter. So she did a Kickstarter just for Christmas where she had four different jumpers and the jumpers looked so pretty. They're all really lovely colours. And I'm trying to add a bit more colour to my wardrobe at the moment. So I went for two of them. I'm pretty sure I know one of the colours. Well, I definitely know one of the colours. I can't remember what the other colour is that I got. But I'm really excited. So it's all wrapped up in her beautiful tissue paper. Which I absolutely love. <gasps> I'm so excited. So this is her business card. I absolutely love it. I love her branding. It's so bright and colourful. And there's a little thank you card with a picture of her as well. And you also got a really nice vinyl sticker. So this is the vinyl sticker and this is kind of like the theme for a lot of the jumpers. And I can see the first one. I remember which colours I got now. Oh my gosh, so this is the mint green one. How beautiful is that? 
I originally ordered the large, but um, unfortunately because of Brexit and stuff, she had a bit of an issue sourcing large. But actually, that is quite big for a medium. She did say they were oversized, so I'm not too fussed that there isn't a large. But I love it. So that is the pattern on the front of the mint green one. And I can feel that this is super soft. Also, look how cute her little labels are. I'm in her Patreon, so she's spoken a little bit about these already. And I know how much hard work she's put into these, so they are really nice and really cool. And then, I really couldn't decide what other one I wanted to get. And I decided to go for this one, because I thought it was appropriate for running a small business. And it kind of matches her. And this is in the large. So I've got a large and a medium. I really just wanted like a super big, baggy, comfortable jumper. And then on the front of it, it says tough nut to crack. And I love it. I really want to get the other jumpers now. Let's try them on. Okay, you can kind of see me. Ah, oh, I just stood on a plug. Uh, okay, we're gonna put on the mint green one first. Oh my god, it's so soft and comfy. And I love that it's still nice and baggy. Oh yeah, that's so good. The sleeves are a nice length. I like to be able to tuck my hands in. Oh, it's just completely stopped focusing. How nice is this jumper? Oh, I love it so much. It's so comfy. It's quite a nice length as well. It's a little bit tighter down at the bottom, but that's probably because I got a big ass. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the large one is like. But this is so comfortable. So yeah, this is much bigger, but that's kind of like the look I was going for. So I can roll up the sleeves a little bit to just be able to roll up the sleeves. It's all casual and I think I can get away with wearing this one with some leggings as well. How cool is this? Oh my god, it's so comfy. I'm literally going to be living these for like the rest of winter, spring now. And we're back. So this is one of the jumpers. I'm literally living in her jumpers because they are so comfy and I love them. So this week I'm mainly focusing on the seven day draw challenge, sharing lots of posts, giving tips and advice where I can on the Facebook group, on Instagram, just basically enjoying this wonderful community. I also need to create my welcome packs for my Blink Ambassadors. So this is a new thing that I've decided to do with my Blink Ambassadors. I've got a lot of different pens for them to try out. I've got a Rodeo dot pad. But one thing I want to do is a personalised notebook for them. And if that all goes to plan, then I'm hopefully going to get these personalised notebooks in my Etsy shop very soon. So tonight I'm going to be testing those out and see if it's possible to do them. And if it is then I'm excited. I want to make them so they've got dotted pages, so I need to figure out the best way of printing that without it, one, using a load of ink, and two, taking ages. So, going to figure all of that out tonight, and I think enjoying the sunshine where I can. I also want to get on testing some more products, and I've got a couple of wedding commissions that I need to do, which is very exciting. I found towards the end of last week, because I'd been taking it quite easy, I got to a point where I was like, I literally don't want to do anything. This is, this is the life I want. I just want to work in the day and lie on my sofa in the evening. Not because I don't enjoy Blink, but working in a full-time job and running a business, basically full-time, is tiring. And I think the reason that I seem to do so much with my business is because as soon as I stop doing anything, I just stop. I'm basically like all or nothing. I feel like I'm rambling because I haven't done this whole talking to camera for like a whole week and it's very weird. Oh, I also dyed my hair. In case you hadn't noticed from the past like 10 minutes of me talking. I got some new hair, which I'm absolutely loving. Uh, if you've been around for a while, you know that I like to dye my hair bright colors because why not? It just makes your 
stay a little bit happier. Anyway, let's crack on with the week, the month, and hopefully it will be a good one. Across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kind of strange Don't even know your name I don't know you But I want to get to know you Just wanna get to know you super excited about. On the inside it's got dotted pages and I thought these would be a really cool way of people practicing their calligraphy. So at the moment I'm teaching my seven day free drills challenge and I just thought it'd be nice to have some sort of like a little book where people can practice over and over again and just see their progress basically. I'm really happy with how this has come out. So a little bit of background. When I was at university, I used to do bookbinding and I really loved it. I've got loads of bookbinding equipment. And then I started doing bookbinding after uni and actually that was my first kind of business, but I literally sold like one book the whole time. But I used to do bookbinding and I loved it. I love it so much. The issue is it takes up a lot of space uh, with like drying of glue because I was doing like hardback covers and doing really cool stitches. I also did simple notebooks like this uh, just because they're a bit quicker but the issue I always had was trimming the edges so they were nice and neat. I could just never do it properly with a knife and then fast forward a few years I now have like a massive paper trimmer which you've seen and I got that to do my calendars. And I've just never really done it for notebooks. There was a period of time where I did do notebooks for a little while with like foiling on the cover, but I was really struggling with the foiling at that point. And I just wasn't happy with how the foiling was coming out. However, look at that. That is perfect foiling. I love it. I'm super excited by it. So what I'm going to do is I've contacted a friend who basically is a notebook slash bullet journal expert. I'm going to send her one to kind of 
have a little play, see what she thinks, have a little experiment. And I'm also going to make some of these for my Blink Ambassadors to go in their welcome packs, which I really need to get out. So on the spine, rather than having staples, I've actually done it like a stitched thread. So this is using bookbinding thread. It's this white bookbinding thread at the moment. I'm tempted to see if I can get some coloured thread. I think I might have some bright thread in the garage. So I had like these huge spools of like bright neon pink and green. But I can't remember if I donated them to the craft charity shop down my road just because I was like, I'm not gonna be doing bookbinding for a really long time. We're moving house in two weeks time. We're gonna have to move the whole garage. So I'm gonna look out for them then. So I think for now I'll just stick to the white stitching. Sorry, I've just, I'm getting so many notifications on my phone tonight from the seven day drills challenge. Like literally my mind has been blown. I've run this quite a few times before and I've always had like quite a lot of interest, but I think people have always kind of avoided sharing on Instagram and not really having that confidence. But so many people are sharing on Instagram. Like it's incredible. So my phone is just lighting up with notifications right now from people tagging me in posts. And it's just incredible to see how many people getting involved. Like, it's so good. <laughs>
day today. I don't think I've spoken to you in a while. It's been quite a busy week because I've had my seven day drawers challenge happening. It's been incredible to see how many people have joined in. There's so many people sharing on Instagram and in the Facebook group and it's made me so, so happy. It has meant that I've been quite busy all week, just basically on my phone, sharing things, writing comments on people's posts, giving them tips here and there and answering emails. So it's not particularly exciting to film, but it's been a very exciting week for me. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who is joining in. It finishes tomorrow, so when this vlog goes live is the last day, but you can still join in if you want to. You can just head over to my website, which is blinklettering.co.uk, and you can sign up for the challenge. You don't need to worry about being behind people, you can totally do this in your own time. So as I said, it's Saturday today. I have got a couple of things I need to do this morning. So I've got a card that I need to make for a friend. And I've got some tweaks I need to do to a wedding invitation suite so the client can sign off and it can go to print, which is exciting. So I'm just gonna do those bits now and then I'm gonna go for a walk because it's gloriously sunny again. This weather at the moment is making me so happy. It's making me feel really positive. It's also making me just want to be outside all the time and not do any work, but that's okay. So I'm going to go for a walk. I think I'll have a little bit of time when I come back and I am going to be packing up these. So this is what you would have seen me making this week. I'm so excited about them. So basically, they're little black notebooks with foil on. There's lots of different foil colours, just happened to pick up the two blick lettering colours here. But inside they have dotted pages and they are using a super smooth top quality paper. So these are perfect if you want to practice your calligraphy. They're lightweight, they're small enough to fit in a bag, so you can just pop pen and notebook in your bag. So if you want to go and sit somewhere if you're allowed to sit outside don't know what it's like in the world at the moment but if you're able to go and sit somewhere and just practice your calligraphy in the sunshine or you just want to do it on the sofa then these little notebooks are going to be perfect so there's 48 pages inside so like an old book so that's one two three and so on they are hand bound by me so I use a high quality book binding thread to bind them together. And because I make them here, it means that one, they can be personalized, which is super exciting. And two, you can pick your foil color. So I've got pink and teal there. I've also got a rose gold one here. This is holographic, which is my favorite. I've got a silver one and another holographic. So these are for my Blink Ambassadors. So I'll be sending these out today, I think, or they'll be going out on Monday. But basically, for my Blink Ambassadors, I have put together a little welcome pack for them as a thank you for sharing their progress throughout this challenge. And they're gonna get one of these books, a Rodeo pad, and a few different pens too for them to try out. So I'm really excited about that. I haven't launched these in my shop yet. I just want to kind of get their opinion and see what they think of them and just kind of have people use them a little bit. I've got one for myself. I've got one for myself, so I'm gonna be testing this out this week. So I think they will probably be out in, maybe towards the end of March. So next week I am moving house which is very very exciting it means a brand new studio so a studio tour new layout of room I've got some really big ideas of how I'm going to change things up a little bit including a DIY pegboard which I'm super excited about so I'm moving on the 12th of March and I'm going to be closing my shop for a week because one I'm moving house two it is my 30th birthday on the 18th of March 
So I've booked the whole week off my full-time job and I'm gonna have some time off, which I haven't done in a long time. So I'm very excited about that. But then the weekend after that, which I think is the 20th and the 21st of March, Emily Harvey has a, another online market linked with her Patreon. So all of her patrons can take part. It's called the eHearts Market. And I am going to reopen my shop for that weekend. And I'm really excited. And I'm hopefully going to have these launched in the shop at the time. And there will be exclusive discount code. So you can get your hands on these for a little bit cheaper than normal. So I'm excited. afternoon the bearded one and I walked down to the beach and it was just so nice and sunny spent an extortionate amount on some halloumi and chili jam but it was delish and then since we got back I've just been packing up the welcome packs for my blink ambassadors so I've got five blink ambassadors if you don't know who they are, I've got a little blog post on them, so I'll leave that in the comments below. The other thing I need to do is sort out some little bits for the end of my 7 days draw challenge. So that is finishing tomorrow, which has gone really quickly. And then basically after that I hold a 30 day challenge, which starts on the 1st of April. And that is going through the whole lowercase alphabet. That's pretty much all there. It's like my workbooks are on my shop 
I need to update my workbooks with my new logo. So that's something I need to do tonight. And just make sure everything's working and in line. And then I can, woo, And then I can get cracking with everything. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna sign off this vlog here. I have no idea how long it is. I think it's basically just me making notebooks. But I hope you found that very interesting. Oh, also, tomorrow, which will be today when the studio vlog goes out, is when my podcast, which Squeak and Shout, goes live. If it is live, I'll leave it in the description below so you can have a little listen. It's basically me just rambling a lot, talking about things like money, mental health, my business for the far past five years. So if you just want to hear me ramble a bit more and hear Sam ask me some very good questions that made me ramble, then head over there and have a little listen. If you enjoyed watching this studio vlog, give it a thumbs up because that really helps. Uh, it just helps my business and my channel grow. And I will see you very, very soon for another studio vlog. I'll see you next week for another studio vlog where I will be showing my new studio. I'm really excited. Like, so excited. See you guys soon. Bye.